In our school, we have um, we have quite a few behaviors and um, different things. We have kids that take a lot need to take a lot of breaks. Uh, they get really antsy all the time, um, just needing a lot of movement. We had some kids with headaches trying to figure out like what's going on in the school that is causing some of these things and causing some of our kids to be so antsy and so needing to get up and move and be out of the classroom so much. So some of the challenges are um, testing anxiety for some of my students um, as well as just being able to, a lot of my students need a lot of breaks and maybe could reduce some of the break times that they have and um, de-escalate some of my students in certain scenarios. They loved it. In fact, they would brag about it in the classrooms that they'd go back to that didn't have it and they'd talk about how neat it was and how um, much of an impact it made on their um, testing especially. They really liked it when it was testing. It's super easy to use. The kids can um, access it with no problem. Um, it's also kind of cool because it looks like high technology and so that was also another perk that got them um, interested in it. In fact, we'd even have a student who get to choose what the background was gonna be on the, on the little panel each week. So that was kind of a fun little thing too that kind of made it more exciting. We could be working in a group across the room and I could even say to a student or someone would make a comment about, can we change the light? Can we make it warmer or, or cooler in here? And I could say, sure, and they'd go right over to it and know how to access it and adjust it without me as a teacher having to get up and leave a group to go change the light setting. Kids aren't gonna be able to move as much as they had in the past. Uh, we have to track kids. We have to know who's been exposed to who. And so um, that's going to impact the movement that we've had in prior. The lack of movement and the able, being able, what we saw with the being able to increase their energy and decrease their energy based on those lights, I think would be very impactful in, our, in our, all of our rooms this year because they're going, we're gonna need to think differently about getting them up and moving and, and getting that energy up and bringing that energy down in a way that we've never thought of before. So our goals and expectations were to reduce energy costs and to provide an optimal learning environment for teachers and students. We expect at the very least to save 50% in energy costs for those classrooms that we did do the lighting upgrades on and we also expect that there will be lower maintenance costs. It is a benefit. We're able to see this on the front end without being in the actual physical space. We can see what's going on with the lighting. Uh, we can actually operate the lighting from a remote location. So it's beneficial in that way. So. Before the lighting system was installed, we kind of did a little um, computerized assessment where they would choose how they felt for the day, their energy level, um, and um, at the beginning of the group and then at the end of the group. Um, and we did all of that. And then towards when we got the lighting system in, um, installed, we did the same kind of thing where they would tell their energy level and um, how they felt um, at the end. I think um, some students probably didn't always think that, that it affected them as much as it actually did, like it, what we could see it did. Um, so I think if they actually could recognize some of that, they would, they would have had a little bit more uh, different differentiation between the previous um, data and the ending data. I would love it to be in every classroom in our building and I would highly recommend it for our other buildings as well, especially in our special education rooms. I think that was where it was most effective and I, and that's also where we have a lot of our behaviors that are dealing with behaviors and things. I think those rooms are really, would really be the most effective if we could only do a, sort, a portion of the building, but I would love to see it in all buildings and, and teachers trained to really watch their kids, the body language, and be able to adjust 